Just a forewarning for this tutorial, this is not the definitive way to create a mini-map, this is simply the way that works best for me. Your results may vary. In this tutorial, we will be creating a simple mini-map for a 12 by 16 starting map. It needs to be longer than it is wide. Begin by using the digital illustration program of your choosing. For this tutorial I will be using Clip Studio Paint. Create two new files, one with the dimensions of 860 by 485 and the other 80 by 80. Fill the 80 by 80 with a solid color. I will be using black. Next, select it all and copy it. Then go back to your 860 by 485 image and paste your solid square. Move it to where you want your mini-map to appear in your game. Now create a new layer above your mini-map and draw a small icon to represent your player character. I will be using a small white plus. Save your mini-map and your icon as two separate files. One labeled map and the other player, or whatever you want. Place the files in your project folder under Images, HUD, and Pictures. Inside Paper Maker's Editor, edit your map properties and create a new time zero event. Be sure it is switched to on and to uncheck the block hero when reaction option. Add a change variables command and create a new variable for the hero's x-axis position. Make it equal to the hero and set its characteristic to x square position. Hit OK. Add another change variables command and select the variable we just made. This time select the times operation and set the number to 6.8. Add another changes variables command and create a new variable for the hero's z-axis position. Make it equal to the hero and set its characteristic to z-square position. Finally, add another change variables command and select the variable we just made. This time select the times operation and set the number to 6.5. Next, use the display a picture command and load in your icon for the minimap and leave its index at 0. Set the origin to center and press OK. Then add a set slash move slash turn a picture command. Leave the image index at 0 and select the move option, then check the X box but not the Y box. Change X from number to variable and select our X axis variable from earlier. Repeat this step but check Y instead of X and change number to the Z axis variable. Select the time zero event that is switched to off and add the display a picture command. Set the index number to negative 1 then load in your mini map image. Set the origin to center and press OK. Press OK again and exit out of the map properties. If everything went smoothly, you should now have a functioning mini-map. A few things of note before I end this tutorial. Even though our map is a rectangle, our mini-map is a square. This is due to how Paper Maker's default resolution is set to 4x3, but most modern-day monitors use 16x9. As such when moving pictures based on the player's location, Paper Maker moves images along the x-axis further than it should. As such, you must compensate by making your maps thinner if you want a square mini-map, or by making your mini-maps wider if your maps are square. This is why the map's dimensions are 12 by 16 instead of 12 by 12 or 16 by 16. In order for the mini-map to be a square, the main map needed to be a ratio of 4 by 3. If I were to make the main map 16 by 16, the mini-map would need to be 21 by 16. This is hard-coded into Paper Maker and as such, there is no other workaround for the time being. The method used in this tutorial must be done for each map you create. The good news is that you can copy and paste all your work from one map into another. Please keep in mind, you will need to edit the X and Z variables if you increase the size of your main map but keep the size of your mini map the same. Finally, the reason we multiplied both the X and Y axis variables is to make sure the player's icon moves at an equidistant amount compared to the player on the map. Had we left the variables as they were, our player icon would have moved very little. Larger numbers move the icon farther, while lower numbers move it in smaller increments. This is also the reason our mini-map is 80 by 80 instead of 16 by 16. Had we made the mini-map closer in size to the actual map, the displayed image would have been tiny and the player would have a hard time discerning their current location. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.